that grace is very real and we all need a dose of it. Chris Brown. After Kelly Rowland hushed the booing audience after Chris Brown was announced as favorite male R&B artist at the American Music Awards on Sunday. I'm accepting this award on his behalf. Excuse me, Ch chill out. But I want to tell Chris thank you so much for making great R&B music. She had more preaching for TMZ yesterday, the day after her defense of Chris made headlines. I think it's important to remember to be human. We all need to for be forgiven for anything that we could be doing, anything that we're thinking. We all come up short in some sort of way. Also yesterday, Kelly went back to Chris's Instagram from Saturday where he posted the rehearsal footage of his planned MJ tribute that got canned last minute on the award show. And she wrote, I know you already know this, but I love you, Chris, period. While AMA producers had nothing to say about Chris's canceled performance before the award show, on Monday, they issued a statement that says, live shows change all the time. It's the nature of the business. Unfortunately, this element of the AMAs didn't come together as we couldn't align on the performance to no fault of Chris Brown. I mean, I'm sure there have been instances, but I can't think off the top of my head of a single award show performance that was canceled the day before the show, other than the singer being sick. We've seen that before and someone steps in the last minute to sing. But just because of a, what it might be like a tech issue or something with like a stage piece, they canceled the performance? I don't know, I don't believe that. I got no air for that. Well, Jordan Sparks also <laughs> talked to TMZ and said that if Chris's past affected the present, it's time to move on. It shouldn't even be a conversation anymore. It's about his talent, they, should have, they just shouldn't have canceled the performance. People deserve to be able to grow and learn and be able to live their life without things hanging over them. Of Everybody course. deserves that. Yeah, so, him especially. And not only did we not get to see Chris perform, Sierra was gonna thrill us too. She posted more rehearsal footage as the duo practiced Thriller, and she perfected those Billie Jean moves. She wrote on her own post, MJ, thank you for the inspiration you've given us all. Thriller, 40th anniversary. Chris Brown, you're a rare breed of this generation. Always fun to rock with you. I see what you did there, Sierra. Nice song pun, good job. Now Kelly Rowland also commented on Sierra's post, writing, You are a bad mother... I probably shouldn't say that. Do you hear me? Bad. I guess that's another song pun. Love you and so incredibly proud of you. I don't think Chris's abusive past is the reason the performance got cancelled, because they would have booked him weeks and months in advance. It's not like on Saturday they all of a sudden had a realization, Oh yeah, Chris Brown beat up Rihanna in 2009, we shouldn't have him on. No, I don't think that happened. You know what I think it is? If I had to guess, I thought about this long and hard. I'm guessing the Michael Jackson estate family, whoever is in charge of those rights to his music, I bet you they didn't give the rights to his music last minute. I bet you that was the proposal that they're gonna use his music for this tribute with Chris Brown and Sierra. And for some reason last minute, the MJ estate or family said, nope, you're not getting the rights. I bet you that's what it was. Cause yeah, that makes sense. That, that would happen last minute. Um, I can't think of any other reason why they would cancel last, last minute. So that's what I'm going with. It's the Michael Jackson estate or Sony or whoever owns the rights to uh, his music. They said, nope, last minute. What do you think?